Hey guys, welcome to Selection Fish Shop, your favorite channel. Here again, we are here to educate you on the use of probiotics to farm fish without water change. And this is an organic way of farming fish. So I'm going to give a small introduction to this. So organic fish farming is a farming technique where we allow nature to help us grow our fish. And this techniques of fish farming comes with a lot of advantage that translate to less input and higher output. So secondly, we talk about probiotics and we say that probiotics are useful or beneficial bacteria which exert positive influence to the host without causing any harm to them. So as I always say, probiotics are not chemicals, probiotics are not drugs. Probiotics are bacteria that occur naturally in nature and you can see it all around us. So this is a practical training section on catfish farming that I was opportune to talk about fish farming without water chain using probiotics here in Ghana. And the location of this farm is actually at Afrinya Road, White Signboard, and the name of the farm is Jack Dan Life Farm. And he is my brother that actually invited me all the way from Nigeria to Ghana to help educate people on the use and application of probiotics, which is a modern way of farming fish that comes with a lot of benefits. So please, if you are new in this channel, remember to subscribe, turn on your notification button, so that anytime we share interesting videos like this, you will be notified. Please, we'll be making more videos on the user application of this probiotics, and we have made a lot of videos previously. So do well to check some other videos in our channel. We are going to talk about fish farming without water change using probiotics. And we are going to do the demonstration. I'm going to talk a little about the products that we use to achieve this fish farming without water change, and also talk about some other probiotics. Now, there are other probiotics. Probiotics can also come in form of liquids. There are some probiotics that are liquids, so that you don't get confused. You know, I try to talk about things that you can also see in other places, so you don't get confused. But then, this particular probiotics is in a powder form, okay? So, all are probiotics. It depends on what you want to achieve. Like the probiotics they also use in this RAS system is also a probiotics. But then, there's something we call colony forming units. Cumulative forming unit. It might not be the difference in the probiotics. Okay, these probiotics form a symbiotic relationship between the aquatic organisms in the pond. When I mean symbiotic, I mean mutual benefits. So they don't cause any harm to the fish, and the fish doesn't cause any harm to them. Rather, the fish help them grow, and they help the fish grow. So you find out that with this explanation, you find out that we are allowing nature help us farm our fish. Okay, so since this thing occurs naturally, we are just trying to simulate them into our aquatic body. What we mean is that we are trying to culture them or bring them into our pond. It's just a simple explanation. So since it's already happening there, but we will try to make the activity higher. That is why we, we use this particular product. Now, this product is not the only product, like I mentioned, but why I'm particular about this product is because this product was designed specifically for this purpose. Fish farming without water chain or fish farming with partial water chain. I know why I had to make this explanation well. There are some questions that have risen from some of the videos I've done. You know, a lot of questions. I'm going to answer some of those questions. It might not come to your mind, but you might need it at some point. One, using this probiotics, am I going to have a, an order? No, there's no order. The reason is that the colony forming unit of this product is so high that it takes away the order. What causes order in the fish pond is hydrogen sulfide. A hydrogen sulfide comes when the ammonia that is trying to break down. The fish excretes. So during the breakdown, it's what happened. Hydrogen sulfide. That is why you listen. But it takes away the hydrogen sulfide also. This, this probiotic is, is called, this particular probiotic is responsible for it. Water and soil probiotics. That is what is responsible for that particular action. Water quality management. I repeat, water quality management. That is just the work of this particular probiotics. 
try to teach people how to use this uh, probiotics effectively so that you uh, attain the best result. And you can actually talk about it and teach other people how to do it well. Now, the disadvantage of a probiotic um, system or fish farming is that you, you have a reduced stocking density. I mentioned it yesterday. For example, it is a tank that is supposed to take 500 fish, for, a, for example, in the conventional system of fish farming. What I mean by conventional system of fish farming is a fish farming system where it's not recirculated up according the normal fish farming that we practice. Yes, you just set up your pond, pour water, stop your fish. After a while, when your water gets bad, you change it right. and that's all. So that's what I call conventional system of fish farming. That is the widely acceptable. In fact, that is the first practice we have been adapting earlier, earlier on before RAS system came in. Um, Bioflock technology, there's a system also called Bioflock technology, can you? But then I'm introducing this probiotic way of fish farming that you need to farm your fish without water change or at least partial water change. Now, some people might ask, yes, I have some water, but then I want it to stay for a longer time, maybe after a period of um, one month before I change or after a period of two months. Yes, you can do that in this process. If you decide to maybe after two months you want to do if complete change or partial change, you are free. But then if you don't want to do, you want to leave your water to continue staying, you are also free. So whichever techniques you want to use or whichever thing, you are free to do that. But then we are assuring you that your water quality will be managed to a, for a longer time, at least till harvest. What you just need to monitor is your pH. Very important. And you need to also monitor your dissolved oxygen. Now, if you don't have a dissolved oxygen meter, there's no problem. The fish are comfortable. We say it must work under the presence of sunlight. Why we are emphasizing sunlight is this, so that if you don't have something like a red toss, nature will help you aerate your water. How do we achieve that? The phytoplanktons are going to produce oxygen during the day. That is why we have a specific feeding pattern for this particular process. We encourage farmers to feed. If you are feeding two times a day, feed at midday by 12 o'clock and feed in the evening around 5, 6 o'clock. Okay, that is the feeding pattern. And secondly, in the feeding pattern, we encourage farmers to do this particular feeding techniques. When you drop your feed, you allow the you know aggressive feeders to come of the feed. Then you wait for a while. You pull again for the normal feeders to take. And wait for a while, you pay again for the sluggish feeders or the slow feeders to pick. So in this system, you might have a reduced level, which you might not need to keep feeding your feed for, you know, maybe say three times a day or two times a day. We encourage in the first one month, feed twice a day. Please, you can write. In the first one month, feed twice a day. 12 o'clock noon and in the evening between 5 and 6. Now, after one month, you only resort to feeding once a day, only five o'clock, between five and six o'clock in the evening. The reason why we feed five o'clock in the evening is because at that point, nature must have recharged the pond water with the highest level of oxygen that can occur naturally. Okay? Now, another thing that we, why we encourage farmers to feed once a day is that there is also natural productivity in this particular system of fish farming. Just like there are natural productivity in the earthen pond, you can also have natural productivity in this system. Because your water is not changed. So there are a lot of phytoplanktons and zooplankton. But then you notice that in this system, when the sun comes out, it's going to produce something on top of the water called flux. Flux are also produced in the bio, bi, bioflock technology. That is why they call it bioflock technology and another system of fish culture that we can also do some other time. But for now, we are talking about fish farming with probiotics, specifically bioclean aqua fish, which is a soil and water probiotics, not just only water probiotics, a soil and water probiotics. Now, what are the components? What are the things you need to achieve this uh, system of fish farming? You need one, your pond, which is the basics for any farmer. You need a pond. A pond can be any whole container. A pond can be the earth. A pond can be plastic. A pond can be tarpaulin. A pond can be a block walk. Fence together. Now, why we talk about uh, the holding container, we also talk about soil. Being that this probiotics is a soil and water probiotics, we also need soil. The soil we need is sandy soil. Sandy soil is the sand that we use for our block work. Sandy soil is the soil we get from the river. 
the one that is already filtered, there's no sediment, there is no, you know, fine particles, there's no more fine particles. Okay. So we are still going to demonstrate it. You can see the uh, sand that we, we recommend that you use. Now, to which quantity? That is the next question. These are questions that are frequently asked. So to which quantity? So now, the simple recommendation I make for people is, you already know that this sand is going to be at the bottom of the pond. Just make sure that the sand is enough to cover the whole surface area of the bottom of the pond. It does not have any major. So because there are some people that we have access to larger quantity of sand, there are some people that we have access to limited quantity of sand, it does not make a difference. The process works perfectly in both of them. The most important thing, as the bottom of your pond, you should be able to cover the whole pond bottom. So that is that. Then the second thing we need to talk about is um, sun. Sun is a very important requirement. That is why we say this process only works when you are you keep your pond is outside when it's receiving enough sunlight. 